What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 23 FIFA Ultimate Team Draft video. Today we're going to be trying to draft the most fantasy FIFA Ultimate Teams that we can get or FIFA Ultimate Team players that we can get in one single draft. I did record this video once already, unfortunately the sound wasn't there and in that recording I hit 8 which you'll see right now. And uh, that's going to be the record to beat for today, which is, of course, going to be incredibly difficult because I got it once and that's quite frustrating. So our captains to start with give us Ben Rama and a Betty Pele. Do you want to be able to afford players that you can get in draft? If so, visit U7 Buy to buy your foot 23 coins. They are cheap, fast and reliable. And make sure to use my code NEP at checkout for 6% off. And we are going to be kicking off by taking that Abedi Pele. So eight is the goal. Of course, we did get six of the regular fantasy FIFA Ultimate Team players and two of the heroes. So, uh, you know, that's going to be the aim for this one right here. We'll also take the 91 Gabriel Martinelli. Now, I've got two things to talk to you guys about from the comments of yesterday's video. Oh, my God. Days, hey, Dina Tale, let's go. The first thing is one of the top comments was the icon counters kind of spoil the pick. But that one, guys, you got to blame Viper, right? He put up the icon counter before the pick came out, which means we knew that there was an icon, or I knew anyway because I'd done the video, but you guys knew that there was an icon in the pick before the icon in the pick even came out of the pick. So uh, not my fault, really. Like, you know, He's going to have to take that one under, you know, on his shoulders. Yes. Yes, I'm throwing him under the bus. But hey, I'm not going to take responsibility for that. It wasn't my fault. Um, and the other thing is that there was a top comment about me being hungover, right? And it was from Jason TV. And he says, Nep is giving pure hungover vibes in this video. Ha <laughs> It's okay, bro. We've all been there. I wasn't hungover. I wish I was hungover. I wasn't hung over. Instead, instead, I'm going to take Suso, you know. The truth of the matter is, is I sound like this and look like this because I am a dad of three and I get no sleep. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I'm, you know, I'm sure a lot of people get no sleep as well as me. I'm not the only, you know, I'm trying to profess that I'm the only person on earth that get some uh, rough nights sometimes but yeah I, i'm unfortunately ooh, the arsenal pass and prison unfortunately not hung over just well tired just just exhausted i think oh i know cheeky kaylor navas was there but we got the arsenal trio of dreams damn this has got like 29 chemistry which is nice we've only got two fifa ultimate team fantasy cards so far however they are both heroes which is nice. There in at centre-back, we have got Eder Militao, who gives us plus two chem. Melia doesn't lose us chem. This draft is really nice. Raphael Varane. He can go in there. We don't gain chemistry from him, but... Yo, Bobby Baggio. Oh, Tony Kroos. Less rating than Bobby Baggio, but... And, and loses as one chem point for the Spanish link. But overall, this draft's nice. God damn. All right, we're going to have to take. God damn. We're going to, like, Eddie and Ketty are like. Whew. We're going to have to take Sanchez. That now makes three. Of course, the record to beat is eight. And if you guys do beat the record of eight, <laughs> you won't. If you do beat the record of eight, Tweet me or Instagram DM me the it picture of you with nine fantasy FIFA Ultimate Team cards. Now, once again, I would like to clarify, but it doesn't have to be nine of this type or nine of the heroes. It could just be nine of the card types, you know, because that seems more logical and reasonable. This draft is going to fall flat right at the end. However, it's been a pretty good draft, isn't it? Got Correa out there. We lose two chem there. We're going to have to get an Argentine La Liga manager, I think, to get full chemistry. Damn, not the version of Harry Kuehl that we would have wanted. But he still goes in there. Yeah, the rating's not going to be there for us on this occasion. 
Oh, Captain Villa's there. That's three captains. Okay, there you go, guys. The draft is complete. We got three foot fantasy FIFA Ultimate Team. I said foot already. Never mind. Uh, Heroes and Alexis Sanchez. Instead, I'm actually going to take Dirk Kout. And put him over there. I don't know why I did that. It just felt like the right thing to do at the time. I think ah, it's only 31. But hey, there you go. First draft, not bad. Not bad. A 120. That's actually not bad. Let's get into attempt number two. All right, guys, here we go with attempt number two. And whilst we do attempt to get the most FIFA Ultimate Team fantasy cards in a FIFA Ultimate Team draft, whilst we do make that attempt... I am still going to be trying to push for like a one, two, five. You know what I mean? Like, you hear? I've got a. So I'm sorry, Arutulit. Alexis Sanchez is number one. We want to see nine. Yeah, rewarded for being genius. Come on now. We've got Harold Kane in there. No links, obviously. We go for Alonso Max. I think I need to take a a, a winger formation actually. Because obviously, like Harry Kuehl is a winger, Aloe Ran is a winger. Um, there's a couple of center forwards in there. Oh, William Salaba, 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 Salaba. Very nice. That's two. Hey, Miller makes three, baby. Let's go. Come on, give me three center backs like that. Bish bash bosh. Nope. We'll take Romero, the Spurs, and the Premier League link. And then we'll take Forster, the Spurs and the Premier League link. And then we'll take Ramsdale, because get Forster out of that team. Go on, Ramsdale, lad. Next up, Martin. Ooh, big Verge. Verge goes in the team over Miller. Miller's still the third one of these fantasy FIFA Ultimate Team players that we have got. We'll also pop in Thiago Silva. We don't lose anything on him, but... Just higher rated, isn't he? Just better. Oh, yeah. JJ Okocha doesn't get into the team, but it's another one. It's four. We got a chance. We got a chance. It's five. It's Fernando. My, my, my. Fernando. Go on. In a row, baby. In a row. Never mind. Man, that's nice. Hold on. Bobby Firmino. Into the team he goes. There you go. Look at that bench, lads. Look at that bench. Cocha, Sanchez, Fernando, Miller. And then, do you know what? For the... J j just so it, like, makes sense in my head to look at them all. There you go. They're all on the bench. We've got five, guys. We've got five. Make that six. Trimmel. Well, I thought I'd never get eight again. I'm probably not going to get eight this time. We've still got four picks to go, but I don't think they're going to be the best picks. But we definitely have the potential to get eight again because we've got six. And I, I did not think it would happen. I thought it'd be hard, impossible, improbable. And yet, here we are. This is actually a nice draft as well. Again, if I was using the players rather than benching the players, it would be really nice. Team of the year, Ben's in there as well. There you go, guys. Look at that, man. Imagine playing with this draft. Like, obviously, we've got a cam, a CDM, and a right wing back. So, it wouldn't be able to be very usable. But we did get six, including an Arsenal past and present. And a JJ Okocha that one time destroyed Arsenal back in day. But that's two down. Let's get into draft number three. All right, guys, attempt number three. And if we're presented with some wingers in this one, which we are, we'll take it. Let's see if we can get some of these brilliant wingers. I'm going to take Baggio because obviously the strikers as well would take a center forward slot. I was hoping for Alawaran. We will take Ilanga in at right wing. Harry Kuehl. No, we will take Odin. In at left wing, Alexis Sanchez. No. Take Rue Tullet, though. There's none of them in this one. So far, obviously. Obviously. 
I don't really care, to be honest, either. No, I mean, I care about not getting them. I don't care about the the draft outside of not getting them. You know what I mean? We're not getting eight hero. Captivilla. Malassia. Two Manchester United future stars. We'll go have I do for the La Liga links. Go for Varane for another Man United player. This draft ain't it, man. Mm -mm. We shall go with Lucas Bathketh for the La Liga links. And then Ter Stegen for the La Liga links. And then De Gea for the Man United links. Like, it's Ariola. Wait. We're just going to see none of them, is it? Is that what's going to happen here? Guys, this draft is honestly abysmal. I mean, TBD and De Bruyne just slots in there nicely. Baggio obviously has to come off. We'll take Mazraoui there. Take uh, Pushkas there as well. Not that I'm going to replace Oli with Pushkas. It's nice to have him, isn't it? We need a Spanish... Spanish centre mid. Spanish La Liga centre mid. Hey, we finally got one, guys. We can't break any records here. I'm just interested in making this draft the best draft it could be now. I'm going to take Makalele. I didn't take Walker, but we've got Kufau. So that leaves me the ability to get a Premier League or a Spanish La Liga centre mid instead of taking Angelino. I know, I know. Like I know, right? I've broken the rules of the draft. Not that there was any rules. The challenge was to get the most in a draft and we can't get the most in a draft when we've already lost the ability to get the most in a draft, you know? Figo up at right wing or Casillas being Spanish for that goalkeeper home actually lost a lot of chemistry there which therefore means Bufau needs to go in there Makalele needs to go in there and now we just need to replace Verratti with a Premier League centre mid if I got a Premier League centre mid and I missed it, I'm sorry. All right. All right. Draft three. That was a bust. We saw. We saw two. I think they were both Angelino as well. That was the worst. I'm not taking a winger formation again. Let's get into the fourth and final attempt. All right, guys. The last attempt for today. I might go with the 3-4-3 flat, actually. There's a lot of really good options for this one. Starting with Sadio Mane, 92 rated in at left mid from Bayern Munich. And then Harry Kuehl, please. We'll go Grealish for Team of the Year Haaland to link to. Hey, it's not Team of the Year Haaland, but it is Erling Haaland. All right, Alo Iran. Start me off, EA. Start me off. Come on, man. Well, I thought I'd go with a different formation to kind of like bolster the opportunities, you know. Oh, that Joshua Kimmich. Come on, give me the big Goretzka card. Team of the Bellingham. This is dilemma season, isn't it? Because we can still get more than eight in theory. But also 93 rated... Erlo or 92 rated De Bruyne. Why does he have a star above his name? I'm going to stay true to the cause of the draft and we're going to take Emre Chan. We're going to take Tomori. There's actually quite a few English players there to get some uh, good chem on him, especially if we get like a Mainyan. I'm going to take Ricardo Carvalho. 
And we are going to take Ledley King. I know this isn't going to be the highest rated draft in the history of high rated drafts. But also, we're at 33 chemistry. A Bundesliga centre-back. A Bayern Bundesliga centre-back. We are done. And we get some more of these. Oh, actually. Give me the Bayern Bundesliga centre-back that I want. No, I don't want that. It's another Man City player. I could have had a full Man City team at this rate. Add it. Ooh. It doesn't help. I mean, it does help because the chemistry there is good. It doesn't help Tomori. But it does help overall. I could also take Mihailo Mudrik and go like full prem. Could also take Terra Hernandez. Have we got any other French players in here? Not at the moment. I'm gonna take him. I think he might do well for chemistry. We lose one chem with him at the moment. Bundesliga centre back. Now I just need a Bundesliga manager and we get full chem. The question is can we get some more of these special cards? And can we get a massive rating? And the answer appears to be no on both fronts. We do have... Do you know what? I could actually go with Emery Chan in here now as well, couldn't I? Because I would still just need a Bundesliga manager. And that gets the Fantasy FIFA Ultimate Team card in the team. Pay 87 over 84 Castagne. Two more picks to go. We have got Jota. What a lot of good he is at the moment. And last but least, Rebic can go in as well. Can we get that Bundesliga manager? Obviously not. We will take the best manager on earth. Mikel Arteta, as voted for by the fans. So, not Arsenal fans, just the fans. That draft is all right, to be fair. It's an interesting draft, to say the least. Unfortunately, oh, I wanted to do. Man, we really, really, really could have gone for a four-man city draft, couldn't we? Holy. Um, unfortunately, we didn't break the record. We got six, was it, in a draft again? The record is eight. If you guys match or break that, tweet me, Instagram, DM me. Social links are down below, and I'll check it out. But for now, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.